channel into the light thank you so much for being here today and clicking on this video so today's reading is going to be about what they want to say to you so quick disclaimer I really wanted to do this reading more like romantic wise but spirit was like no there's more serious messages that need to come through for you guys about people that have been constantly thinking about you constantly thinking about their connection with you whatever that may be and you know mercury record mercury Mercury retrograde is coming up, so there's a lot of communication going to be happening. Some of you may need to hold your tongue. The person, whoever they are, thinking about you needs to hold their tongue. But you know, there's also good things coming as well. Like with a lot, there's a lot of communication, basically. So we have three piles to choose from today. We have pile one with the sunstone, pile two with the carnelian, and pile three with the rose quartz. So really just focus on what do they want to say to you. Really could be anyone. This is really going to be like a big surprise, a big reveal. But they're very much like messages that need to be revealed to you guys. So please continue and watch this reading. And without further ado, we're going to get started with the sunstone. Oh, and timestamps will be in the comments or in the description box. All right. So if you have chosen the Sunstone, welcome to your reading. Thank you for being here today and clicking on this video. So what do they want to say to you, whoever this person may be? Let's get on with it. And sorry if you hear a little bit of noises. It's like family day where I am from, so... People are home with their kids, so it may be a little loud. All right, so we have the Three of Swords. We have the Three of Wands and the Seven of Wands. For your Lunar Man, we have the Tree. And we have the Broom slash the Whip. Then for your oracle card, we have chaos. Don't be frightened off yet. <laughs> and then we have communicate, communicate clearly. Oh my god, why am I getting tongue tied already? And we have in the near future. Okay. So I'm just going to move this a little bit so I can get everything more into frame. be a little better. Okay. Okay. So, what do they want to say to you, whoever this person is? All right. So, these can be a few different people. It doesn't just have to be an ex can be a friend, an ex-friend, you know, something like that. But let's get on with it. I'm going to be very general so you can apply it to your situation. So I'm just going to take a sip of tea. All right. So this person that has been really thinking about you a lot and has a lot to say to you is somebody that you may have ended things off not in the best way. Like, say you had an argument with this person. Definitely picking up there was an argument, a disagreement, um, something like this. There wasn't really a peaceful resolu resolution to the ending. And you might be even just getting your tongue tied with this person, too, because, you know, it's hard to get some things out and say the right things when you might have a lot of anger 
in front of you more than, you know, being able to communicate, like, your true feelings about everything, how things are going with you. But yeah, I'm seeing that with the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands here, that this person and you have not really... <sighs> not really been getting along all right and I'm seeing that this person's really just waiting for you to come in and speak to them again about everything that happened or you might be waiting for them to come in and speak to you about everything that happened so really you two are kind of just marrying each other and it's like nobody really wants to say anything yet like I think both of you are just focusing on, like, oh, well, you should say sorry because you did this, and they're saying, like, the same thing, like, oh, you should say sorry because of this. So, it's, like, right now nothing's really being resolved because it's all about, like, being right and who could be right and who is more right and whatever. Um, and I'm definitely seeing this a lot with the communicate clearly. Like, you haven't been communicating with each other in ways that you could really actually understand where the other person is coming from. And it's like, you know, when you're really angry about something and upset about something, you're not going to be really focusing on the other person. You're going to be focusing on your hurt feelings and what happened to you, right? And with the chaos here, chaos with number nine here. So this card is basically saying like, you know, after the storm is clear, Right? So you see this big tornado going off. Like, after the storm is clear, things will get better. Alright? So after you guys, you know, have this communication and discuss with each other, um, you know, things will get a lot better. And communicate clearly. Don't just argue, you know? Like, try to keep away from arguing. And, you know, even if this person likes to argue a lot, be the bigger person. Okay? So, also, it's like, because it's a storm, right? You're going to need to take cover. You need to take precautions and protect yourself. Or risk getting soaked. Risk getting blown away by this tornado, alright? So even if this person is, like, really angry, has a lot of, like, uh, built-up um, resent towards you, you don't want to fight against the storm, alright? You just want to protect yourself and make sure that you're doing okay and that you're happy. And, you know, if you started this drama with this person, you're also going to need to clean it up, right? So take whatever resonates with you. Definitely both, I would say, would, you know, resonate a lot. But if you feel like you may have started a sort of drama with a person, it's time to pay your debts and apologize and really, like, get clear with them, okay? Now with the leaner mon, we got the tree and the broom slash whip. So I'm really seeing like maybe you guys have just swept this under the rug. Like this is somebody that you were close with, you know, somebody that like together you felt like home. So it's like I feel like this argument and everything that's happening, I feel like it's not even the argument that is the big issue and the big deal. It's the fact that you were really close and now things aren't going too well and you're both being really defensive and not wanting to um, listen to each other. And this is like some bump in the road. Like it's really just a bump in the road. Like it's a storm. It just came suddenly and storms don't last forever, right? So this is a sort of conflict that will help each of you grow, right? This is kind of like, um, a karmic type of lesson for you two where it's like in the end both of you learn something about each other like maybe you learn that um, you are too um, sharp with your words and maybe they'll learn that they are too stubborn or aggressive and yeah there's both there's lessons to be learned on both of your sides all right and yeah, so definitely this is like arguments with someone that you're close with and it's like you're just keeping it on the side right now and I feel like most of you are just like leaning towards like yourself and your own growth because you actually notice that, you know, this conflict happened for a reason and there is some things that you need to deal with within yourself. 
And yeah, you guys need to just have like a healthy discussion and things will like be better. And I see this happening like in the near future. All right. <clears throat> and look at them. They're just happy together and they're both like holding this flame. And it's like, even though this hurt, this pain, like this argument may have happened, it's something that's going to be really short lived. And it really was something that you needed to learn from each other. So this person does want to come forward to you and actually speak with you and talk about everything that went down because they're seeing their faults and you're seeing your faults too. Like it's really like both of you um, marrying each other in this way. They really want to be able to um, fix things with you and especially like with the storm here, I was I was saying, like maybe they created that drama and it wasn't you, so they want to come forward and just be like, hey, like I'm sorry. And it doesn't even matter who started it or who did it. That doesn't matter at all. The real reason is the real um the real thing here is that this person just wants to have a peaceful resolution with you and not have to like keep fighting and be defensive with you and they're really just going to want to sit down and listen with you and listen to everything that you needed to say because they know that they care about you and you care about them so it's like why just keep this anger here still lingering why just sweep it to the side and act like nothing even matters and it doesn't even it's not a big deal because it is because you both do like care about each other like deep down even if you feel like, mm, don't really want this person in my life anymore, there was a once upon a time that you did care about each other. All right? And you don't want any bad, resent feelings in you, so it's time to release that. So this is what I'm picking up for you guys that chose the Sunstone. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now! Alright, if you have chosen the Carnelian, welcome to your reading. Thank you for clicking on this video and being here today. So, what do they want to say to you? Whoever has been thinking about you constantly and has to get something off of their mind with you. This might be a little bit unexpected. So, let's figure it out. I'm um, sorry about the angle. It's a little high now because... It's really bright outside, but it's not even, like, showing up on camera. I don't know why. Alright, so, we have the Page of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. At least from this angle, you can definitely, like, see the cards fully. Um, we have the Nine of Swords. And we have the sun in reverse. For your leaner man, we have the stork and the fox. We also have, um, for your oracle card, denial. Oops, my camera is going off. Denial. And then for your angel answer cards, we have remain positive and a year from now. So I'm going to put these at the top because there's no room on the side here in the frame. Okay. So. <clears throat> this... Who, who is this person? Who is this person? Oh yeah, also it's family day, so there are families with their kids at home, so if you hear any noises, I'm, it's them. They're probably playing games with their kids, which is super cute, but yeah, that's what's going on. Alright, so into the reading. Who's been thinking about you and has a lot to say? For some of you, 
this is someone that you're already in a relationship with. For others of you, this is someone that is an ex. And also it can be a friend, like someone that you are, you're, like this isn't your best friend, but someone that you're like close friends with and not picking up on family member, just like someone that's in your circle, all right? So let's start with the Page of Swords. This person is coming through with some communication for you. And it's not something that you are going to expect. Some of you, you will expect this because you kind of just seen it coming. And I feel like, okay, the song that was coming up in my mind when I was shuffling is that high school musical song where it's like, what about us? What about everything we've been through? And it's like, I gotta go my own way. You know that one? Everybody knows that one. That was such an iconic scene. Okay. But yeah, that's literally the song that came up. So what I'm feeling is this is somebody that you know and has been in your circle, but you kind of realize that they haven't been the best person towards you. And you're kind of just like, mm, why are you still around me if you're kind of an asshole? <laughs> and, you know, you never really did anything about it because, you know, you just... You're someone that's not confrontational. So you rather just like be on the side and keep positive and happy. Like I see you as this queen of cups here. Like you're not somebody that's confrontational. You kind of just like to keep the peace and you rather just everyone just be happy. All right. And even if you don't like someone, you might not even flat out say it. You just kind of just keep it in and just see what happens. But yeah, this is something that with the nine of swords here, this is something that um, this person has been thinking about for a really long time. And with the sun reverse, it's like they already know like there's no more light with this. And they want to just do their own thing their own way. They just want to, you know, go out and go on their own venture. And I'm seeing like that this person, like, it's not that they don't. It's not that they don't care about you and think that you're a bad person or anything. It's more like a them thing. Like, you know how people would be like, oh, it's not you, it's me. That's literally this situation. So if you're in like a relationship and you know it's stable, committed, don't worry. It's not about that. I know that could be something triggering for people. But, like as I said before, like it doesn't have to just be someone that you're in a relationship with or an ex. It could also be a friend, like a close friend to you because I'm picking up with that, especially with the page. Like I see this as a young person. So yeah, definitely could be a close friend. And you're the mature, you're the mature queen of cups here. All right, so... Let's get into the den yeah, the denial card here. So as I said earlier, like I feel like some of you have noticed like the issues with this relationship, this connection with this person it doesn't have to be like a romantic relationship, as I said, it could be a friend. And you know, you kind of just let it be and didn't really say anything, didn't really do anything. You just kind of just kept your distance, really. And I'm just seeing like you, as I said, like you're the type of person that just loves to keep the peace and you don't want anything bad to happen and you just can't deal with issues and confrontation. Like you will and you know, you'll get through it, but you just don't like seeing it coming or hearing it coming. So for you to really pick this pile, this is like your forewarning, just, you know, special special message for you. But it's saying, like, this denial card, it's saying, like, don't get too caught up in, you know, your desires. Don't get too much caught up in your physical um, too soon before you can actually obtain your goals. So it's like, don't keep the people around you just so you feel like, oh, well, I have friends, I have people that are around me that love me. Like, definitely those those people are there, but there are certain people that are around you that don't want to see you do good. And there's people around you that, you know, like they care 
for you, but it's like they have their own selfish kind of tendencies and they rather just, you know, up and leave you. Like they're, there are people that, you know, you're somebody that loves a lot and you really put the other person into consideration first. Like you put people before your, your own self and people notice that and some people will kind of take advantage of that. All right. So it's really saying like, you know, you may want to live this life where you have like a big group of friends around you or, you know, if you are, um, if there's an ex that, you know, you've been thinking about and, you know, maybe you've been feeling a little lonely, you want them to come back kind of thing. Just think like, do you really want somebody like that back in your life? And just remember like what really happened in the past. So it's like you're really just... You know, there's so many more beautiful, positive things coming into your life. There are so many goals. Like, you see this fruit. Like, it's ripe. It's gold. It's juicy. But you just can't get it yet. Not yet. Um, so it's, like, really focus on yourself. And Spirit saying remain positive about your situation because better things are coming in for you. Better things are evolving in your life. And really, you just got to get rid of certain things, certain people, um, out of your life in order to welcome more good. So with the stork and the fox, oops, put it in the front here. So with the stork and the fox together, this is saying that it's really time to transform yourself and be a little selfish in the way that you give yourself that love. You give yourself that self-care. You put that love that you give out to other people back into you three times fold, right? And really assess your risk and assess like what will actually happen if, you know, I let this person out of my life. What will actually happen if, you know, they rather not have me around? Just really like make sure that you're making decisions that will serve your highest good because this person is coming in really just to be like, I got to get out of here. Like I want to just do my own thing. They just want to follow their own path. And this is something that is a necessary change. And you're going to adapt to it, but it's going to be kind of like, whoa, like, where did this come from? Um, definitely this person. I also feel like with the Nine of Swords here, too, is like this person has been thinking and feeling this way for a while, but has just been keeping it inside. Yeah, they really just feel like the warmth has gone down. Very interesting. I want to pull one more card for you guys just to see. Um, should I do the angel or should I do the wisdom? Yeah, I'm going to do the wisdom. I'm just going to pull one more card to just see what comes out because I feel drawn to do so. Sorry about the moving. Okay, so we got choices. As I said, there's a decision to be made. And I feel like you already know what would be best for you because, you know, this guy's looking at the, you know, the light white side of his wings here. So it's like, you know what decision that is to be made in your life and you know what will serve your highest good. And you know if this person hasn't been the best towards you, you already feel like you deserve better and it doesn't really matter, you know, what they think or how they feel. So when you're faced with a decision and you know you need to choose, make sure, like, as I said, you're choosing, choosing something that is, serves your highest good because that choice is an important step in your life and it's an important step with your lessons. Um, like, this could be, like, a karmic lesson for sure with yourself and, as I said, like you are probably somebody that hasn't made a decision and you don't like to decide. You kind of just like to throw it to the side, but not deciding is making a decision, right? 
So you have to make a choice and choose, all right? So that's what I got for you guys that chose the carnelian. If you like this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye now. All right, welcome pile three. If you chose the rose quartz, hello. So what do they want to say to you? What unexpected messages are coming through about somebody that's been constantly thinking about you? Also, just a side note, if you heard like yelling, banging, whatever, it's family day. So there's a bunch of families with their kids here. And they're probably playing games or something. I don't know. But they're making a lot of noise. Anyways, so let's get into the reading. What they want to say to you. It's going to be surprising. Who is this? We don't know. All right, so Eight of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. All right, some truth, some revelations. Uh, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ace of Cups. All right, and then for your Lunar Mon, we have the Child and the Bear. I think this is the cutest combination here. We also have Summon. And for your Angel Answer cards, we have the Situation Will Improve. And we also have You're Ready. Okay, so where am I going to put this? Good question. Okay, so I'm just gonna slide it over to the side. And there we go. That kind of works. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. There. Okay, so what communication is coming through for you guys? So definitely this one is a this one is a lot quicker to pick up on so this is somebody that you have walked away from or they walked away from you or just this has happened on both sides here and it's like you walked away to really just focus on yourselves and you know to really just figure out like do I really want to do this do I really want to commit to this this is my pile that is largely about romantic situations the other two piles were kind of like, you know, could be a lot of things, but this is definitely my pile for romantic situations. Um, so yeah, this is somebody that you may have walked away from, they walked away from you, but during that time of separation, you had a lot of revelations, a lot of truths coming out, and there was a lot more clarity about how you felt towards this person, because it's like, during the separation, like, you really thought, Mm, don't really need this person, don't really care, doesn't matter, but then you realize, like, no, I kind of want this person back, and, like, that's okay, like, that's fine, because they want you back, too, and that's what they're going to come through and let you know, and they want to let you know, like, with the Six of Pentacles being re reversed, that they know that you've been really giving to them, and they didn't reciprocate that back as much as you have done for them. You know, with the Ace of Cups, it's like they want to come in and give you a new beginning, a new start, because they have this overflowing abundance of love for you. And I feel like you do as well. Like, it goes both ways. You know, with the two Aces here, like, this is new things coming into your life. So, new beginnings coming into your life with this person, and this person wants to have new beginnings with you. And I'm also seeing, like, on the side, like, even financial increases as well. Maybe even with this person, like, you might actually, like, end up doing something with this person that, you know, you work on a project and start making money together, or you just kind of just work on something that you put out on social media and a bunch of people like it, or, you know, something like that, something that you can work together with. With some in here, you have both been taking this time apart to really just focus on yourself and, you know, medicate, you, medicate meditate and I see you like both like communicating with your guides spirit um even if this person isn't spiritual they have been communicating with you know 
they've been really just tuning into their intuition, tuning into their instincts, and really just realizing, like, damn, like, there is something much deeper than I thought was here. And with this car, too, like, I felt, like, deeply, like, this is more about, like, tuning into your spiritual self, your higher self, because she is just covered in this violet light. And I'm not too sure, like, it'll pick up a little bit on camera, but she's just covered in this violet light. And it's like, she's really just summoning her higher self and really looking into, you know, the power that's within her. And I feel like this also just symbolizes just like, looking at, you know, the love that's within you to really understand like, what is going to be right for my soul? What is going to be right for my heart? And this person really feels like it's you. And I feel like it's the same for you, like vice, vice versa as well. I'm also seeing two fours here because these two are together, right? They're both 13. The child is 13 and then summon is 13. You see that? So together, like obviously that makes four and then that makes eight. So two fours basically just shows like strong devotion. Someone that's looking to move towards you, looking forward to coming your way, you know? This is something that's that stability. And with the bare hair, that makes six. Oh my gosh, there's two sixes here as well. There's a lot of <laughs> synchronicities in this pile. So there's a lot of more, um, there's going to be a lot more harmony when you two come back together. That is going to be like kind of unexpected. Like it's going to change like definitely a lot. And this person has pure intentions for you. And there's somebody that wants to do good for you. And they're going to come in and maybe even do like a good deed for you. Maybe offer you something um, physically. And if you're not in a commitment, this person is going to want to be committed to you. So, uh, with the situation will improve, like, as I said earlier, like, you guys may have walked away from each other and, you know, spent time apart, um, but things are going to pick up really quickly. Like, this, she's literally in just water, so there's going to be a lot more communication about, you know, feelings, emotions, how things you want, how you want things to go between you two, and with this you're ready card here, like, I feel like you guys separated because you both didn't feel ready in some sort of way. And now you are, like, you spent that time to yourself, you did your, you know, inner healing, you've been working, working on your finances, working on, you know, your just physical self, so now you're really ready. And with this Ankh here, like, this is eternal life, so I feel like this person is somebody that you're going to be with in the future, possibly marry, um, might even been, like, a past life sorry, a past life connection, soulmate, strong soulmate, or twin flame, really. Um, so with the child and the bear together, so with the child and bear, why did I just literally say that twice? I don't know. So with the child and bear together, I'm seeing that this is somebody that um, is going to treat you really nicely and protect you and want to guide you. And I feel like also, like, because of this combination with the Eight of Cups here, too, is, like, maybe you also walked away from this person because they are kind of, like, putting their two cents into things and kind of acting like a know-it-all. But you're like, uh, don't you talk to me like that, you know? And they're just trying to provide you with some guidance because they see that you're such a powerful person and you just have... You really got everything set in your life. Like, you were really on top, and they were kind of just more in the stagnant energy, not really sure where to go, what to do, but you were really set. And, you know, they didn't, they had like a lack of control, and they were trying to like impress you in some ways and just be like, oh, well, like, look what I'm doing and look at this and this. But it's like, you didn't really care about that. You more just cared about them as a person, and you wanted to know, like, really more so, like, what their feelings were for you, what their intentions were. Um, but they're more focused on, like, pleasing you and just trying to make themselves look bigger and, like, boast about themselves because, you know, they felt, like, a little bit intimidated by you. But now they're just seeing, like, how much more important it was to really just take your advice and listen to you. And they really have been. Like, I feel like you uh, may have helped this person with their inner healing 
to go in and like, you know, meditate, all of that good stuff. And you may have even triggered like them going more deeper into their spirituality. Um, but yeah, this is someone that is very, that has, that feels really young and vulnerable around you. And literally, like, I'm getting, like, you make them feel like a kid. Like, they just feel like so much life, so much love. And they just feel so youthful around you. With the summon card, I want to pull one more to kind of just clarify it. So I know with this deck, like, there's, like, two cards in this deck where it will be like, oh, pull another card if you need some more clarifier. So I'm going to just pull one more. Sorry if the video starts shaking a little bit because I'm shuffling. Right. So just one more for Rose Quartz. Those are group chose Rose Quartz. Jeez, literally half the deck falls out. Summon. Oh my gosh! We got message! So yeah, this person is going to come through give, and send you a message. Um, Wow, these two cars literally just match each other. Like, the colors, the, the everything. Yeah, so you're going to receive a message from this person communicating to you about how they feel, how they feel about the situation. Um, I'm going to look up in this book real quick to get... It's kind of straightforward. It's a message, but let's see if there's anything else here that can be said about it. Maybe someone will text you something nice or you will find out something about someone in a phone call from a friend. Perhaps a letter will come in the mail or maybe I'll send you a sign in nature that will point you in the right direction. Whatever you ask, you will soon know the answer. Choose another card if you need to know what the message will be about. Get ready and pay attention. You're getting a message with special meaning. Meaning. Should I pull another card to... <laughs> let you guys know what this message is about like I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this message is about should I pull another one no I'm not going to you guys know what this message is about listen to your intuition all right so that's what I got for you guys at chose pile three if you like this reading please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I hope to see you in the next one bye now